Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX remained in the green zone for the third consecutive day and gained 13.16 points or 0.21%, settling at 6,269 points. Mega turnover was BDT 4.18 billion, which is a decrease of 2.81% compared to the previous trading day. Union Insurance, Progoti Life Insurance, Paramount Insurance and Reliance Insurance from the insurance sector Pubali Bank and Prime Bank from the banking sector, National Tea Company from the food and light sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, almost all the sectors posted gains today, in which the insurance sector posted the highest gain of 2.11% and tannery sector registered as the second highest gain of 0.72%. Today. Ten insurance companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Union Insurance, Paramount Insurance and National Feed Mill registered the highest gain, while Miracle Industries, Bidicom Online and Magna Cement Mills were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of Dhaka Electric Supply, Rana Automobiles and Vanguard AML BD Finance Mutual Fund increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The volume of Dhaka Electric Supply and Rana Automobiles rose significantly as they both are scheduled to have their board of directors meeting on 15th and 18th October respectively. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. The country's wheat imports surged by 259% year-on-year to 13.28 lakh tons in the quarter one of the current fiscal year. As the banks agreed to open LCs for imports, the private sector was able to import a significantly higher amount of wheat during the period compared to the previous year. However, the price of wheat in the local market is yet to drop. The central bank missed the target to keep the net foreign reserve balance minimum USD 25.3 billion set by the International Monetary Fund for September to get the second installment of the loan. The country's financial account deficit kept increasing as foreign investment is on a downward trend due to the rising fund costs and also for the upcoming national election. Moreover, the central bank sells almost USD 1 billion every month from the reserve. However, the central bank is expecting the lender to revise the condition for maintaining reserves. That's all for today. We will be back again on Sunday with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow Eller Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.